Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make drill beats in 2023. Drill's changed a lot over the years, and it's gone in so many different directions, so I want to make sure that you're up to date and you're on point. Plus, I know a lot of producers struggle when it comes to making melodies, and I don't have anything against using loops, but I really feel like producers should work on a melody game just as much as the drum game. So sit back, watch, enjoy, and steal some sauce so you can tell you boys you were self-taught, and let's get straight into it. All right, like I said, drill's gone in so many different directions. You have melodic drill, sample drill, dark jersey drill, dark drill, basically any type of melody with drill drums over it. But today we're doing UK shit. So I'm talking ethnic melodies, hard hitting drums, maybe some vocals, and just a lot of stuff I've been hearing recently from UK artists. First things first, we need to set the BPM. We used to make everything around 140, but now it's getting a little bit faster. So we could go to like 145, 143 is a good one too. Some of the New York stuff's going up to like 1. 60 but i don't think we need to do that for this now what i want to use is an instrument called a erhu and two sick banks are ethno world six and jade ethnic orchestra some people like to start off with phrases and use a bank from sonascore and there's nothing really wrong with that but if i was gonna start with a phrase i'm not really making it from scratch so i want to do this proper so let's use ethno world six and we're just going to use this the only thing is when you're starting truly from scratch, it just doesn't sound as good in the beginning because you don't get that human touch to it. But we're going to work with it. And rather than building out chords, we're just going to start with some kind of melody. So what you could do is set a scale, for example, E minor, or we could go with E minor harmonic. You can get a nice dark vibe with a harmonic scale. And let's just click some notes in within the scale to build a melody. Something like this. Okay, we'll try that. Just really simple. You'll notice with the harmonic scale, there's a lot of semitones or half steps. So basically notes that are together like these. And that's sick for creating a dark feeling. I'm going to copy that over. Maybe just change this part here. And like I said, because it's a VST, it's really hard to get a human feel from it. But we can randomize the velocity a bit. And we can also move some notes a bit off grid like this. I'm just holding Alt, clicking and dragging. We'll do that with a few. It's not sounding the best right now, but just trust the process. Okay, I'm going to copy that contact. And what I'm going to do with this is just copy the MIDI in. But in the first one, I'm going to get rid of the first notes and maybe these ones too. And then in the second one, we'll get rid of everything else. So yeah, just keeping the main notes. And then I've just selected this key here because it's going to change the play style. All right, I'm not feeling that one. So maybe we take this out of here and just paste it back in there. Let's see what else they got. So I'll copy it one more time. Ooh, this one sounds sick. We could try that there instead of this one. Let's mute these. Make that a bit longer. Sounds good by itself, but, but not with everything. And then I want to mix these the same. So I'm going to link them all to the same mixer. I'm just going to add some reverb. I always bring up the low cut, even the size sometimes. Still not sounding amazing, but the idea is I'm going to flip this after I've made it. So just stick with me. We want to add more tension. So I'm going to clone contact again. And we're going to get some sort of tremolo strings. This could work. And I'm just going to add the root note. Yeah, just like that. Also on the main instrument, we could add half time. Just bring down the mix. This will give it some low end. Yeah, there we go. Now we could try and add a pad. So I'm just going to use expand to see what we can find in here. Go to soft pads or even in the string section. I like this suspended string preset. Now that sounds kind of hard. Next up, I want some kind of texture. So again, something similar to a pad. Let's try this back. And I'm feeling this drifting preset. So again, I'm just going to use that root note. Turn it down. With this layer of strings, we just add in some stereo separation just to make it a bit wider. That one's fine as it is. And then with this one, we can use Pancake to make it go between both ears. We'll just bring down the mix. 
Yeah, about there. And I really don't want to add too much to this, but I'm going to see if we could add some sort of vocal. And before I add anything else, I'm going to render this out. So I'll just click here, Alt and R, and then we'll render the master. Now I'll drag this in. Instantly, I'm going to pitch this down a couple. Yeah, that sounds better. Let's try to reverse it as well. We'll just bring this back. Let's send that to another mixer. Then we'll add a Fetrix. Maybe even Kickstart too. Let's flip it back. Maybe that, you know. Then we could even add halftime again at the start, but with the mix right down. I feel like it just needs a bit more low end. Like there, that could work. So yeah, let's render this one. Because when you add a Fetrix, it adds this little gap at the beginning. So I always need to render it and bring it back. Just like that. I'm going to add a sub bass as well. So we'll go to Analog Lab. Then we'll go to my Aurora Drill Bank. And we'll use the Gritty sub bass. And remember, we pitched it down from E, just two. Mm. Oh, that sounds cold now. All right, next up, I'm going to exhale. I feel like this has been slept on recently and I haven't used it for a while. So I'm just going to use this one note. If I hold it, it goes a bit higher, but I don't think I want the higher pitch ones. Could just repeat this. Or what I could do is just have those three and then let this one get higher. It's a little bit off beat though, so I'm just going to render this one. I think it needs to start there. Yeah, that's better. And then we could just turn this one down a bit. Could also just filter that a bit. Ooh, some halftime on those vocals sounds sick. Could have that in one section. So yeah, I could automate that. And then just have that cut off here. I'm also going to take a version of that without kickstart. Just so we've got some switch ups. So I'm thinking we could have this one play first. And then when the vocals go up, this can get faster. And I think that'll give us enough to work with for now. So what we're going to do is add some drums. Of course, we're going to go to my Divine Bundle. We'll use the Chaos Drum Kit. And I feel like this needs a heavy counter snare. Something like that. We'll just start with a simple pattern. Copy it out a few times. And these patterns don't need to be complicated. So I could take some out and maybe bring down the velocity of some. Let's see what other ones we've got. In this one you know that can be the main one and then we'll add a lighter one as well let's try this one and with the second one we're just going to use it to add some bounce so with the second one i'm just adding notes in between i'm playing with the velocity then we could add some rolls too and copy that over yeah, maybe as simple as that. And I think on that second one, we could add Pan Man or Pancake. They do similar things. Then I'm just adding some delay. Got the time set to two. Just bringing down the feedback and the volume. But then they jump in us for the second one. All right, let's grab a snare. Let's try this one. Let's boost it up a bit. Copy that over. And then we could just turn the second one down. All right, time for the 808. And this year, I've mostly been using this heat one and this backward one. Could just chop this one up a bit. Try something different here. And then we'll just pitch these up. Okay, I'm going to double the pattern up. I always have a full 16 bar pattern so I can switch up the 808. For the second one, we could just play with octaves again. Maybe slide this down an octave. And then in this part, could actually come up or like this. So we'll have it slide up and then straight back down. These ones can just come up octaves. And then just bring the velocity down at the second one. We'll pan those two notes too. All right, I'm just trying to create a bit of a stutter effect. All 
right, so they're the main elements of the drums, but now we're going to add some perks. So I want to add something with a bit of reverb, like this. We could just add a pattern like this. For these bouncy beats, I like to do this and then just bring the velocity down. Then the same thing again. So we'll get something else like this. And I like to layer some of the kicks with this. Even just like that. I could adjust the envelope too and then make some shorter notes. Yeah, that sounds hard. Could also pan the perks as well. So back to this first one, just go like that. And then copy this one over instead. And then with the second one, could do it the opposite way. So yeah, I think like that. Might even grab this snare and then layer some of them. The only other thing I think it needs is my camera flash. And this is like my signature sound, so it doesn't mean that you have to use this one. I try to put this in like every beat so people recognize it as mine. I just think it sounds sick and it might be a subtle way to separate my beats from the rest. I'm also going to go back to my Divine Bundle Chaos Kit again and then grab a drum fill. I like this one. We'll just select Fit to Tempo and 140. Just going to add some bounce at the end. But what I'm going to do is actually split the drums and then in some parts I could cut the drums and add a fill. Yeah, that's better. We'll just get in a short riser as well. I'm gonna add another riser from my Grease Kit 2 just to finish it. Yeah, there we go. And just to mix the kick and 808, I don't always sidechain, but if I do, usually I'll use Kickstart. I'll just link the kick in processing, select audio, and then I'll just bring the band down to like 130. Yeah, about there. All right, sick. I really don't need to add anything else, but I might make some cuts in the drums. But what I'm going to do is bring this over and then we need something for the intro. Maybe we just bring the sub bass in. So we'll bring this over again. Just copy some effects as well. In this section, the counter snare can come in. Yeah, I think just that. And then I think cut the sub here. Actually, that bridge too, I'm going to bring this back. And then in here, we'll bring the higher one. There we go. We'll try something. I've just made this unique and I want to see what it sounds like up an octave. It's not bad, you know. I think get rid of these vocals here as well. Alright, I'm feeling the way that sounds, so I'm going to copy this. And then in this part, I can keep the octave down. Save the kick. Yeah, and then we could just make a couple cuts like here. Mm. And then to make it easy, I can just grab everything and copy that across. So just so you know what we've got, that's the hook, this is the verse, and then this is the bridge. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. I'll just play from this part with the sub bass. These beats just need a simple bounce like that. This one's sounding crazy. Then we've got this little break. So this whole section's a hook. And the verse. So we'll still keep the drums going, just keeping the bounce all the way through. And the kick. And then, yeah, just coming into the bridge again. 
So if you want to see me cook up more beats like this, just click up here. Or if you want to see me making dark jersey drill, click up here. I appreciate you all for watching once again.